What is going on guys? Welcome back yet to another edition of Pantherology. Welcome to today's video, my record prediction for the Carolina Panthers. Now this is a long video guys, so I'm going to try to keep this first part and in this introduction short and sweet. Uh, pound that like button, pound the subscribe button. Guys, 68% um, of you are still not subscribing, only 32% uh, of you are subscribing. So that other 30 uh, that other 68% of you that are watching these videos, please subscribe, comment down below, pound the like button, pound the subscribe button, uh, click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of the raw content about the Carolina Panthers. Uh, and of course, when the season comes around, I'll be talk talking more NFL. Also, don't forget about the thousandth giveaway. And yeah, let's get into this. So we're going to be talking about the record prediction. So the Carolina Panthers season um, is coming in to full view with their opponents and roster both relatively locked in. But where will they finish in their division is a good question to ask yourself. Now, the Carolina Panthers will be in a very tough division in 2021, which will now go through until proven otherwise. Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Matt Rule's team will need time to figure themselves out, something you don't often get in the NFL. You know, we have a new quarterback, uh, a healthy star player, a new offseason additions will all have to be added to a team, still trying to figure out what its identity will be. Once settled, in the Panthers will be a top heavy roster that is well coached and plays to its competition. So one who wins games with a gun slinging big play mentality behind a new quarterback, Sam Darnold. So with this in mind, I want to go ahead and start reviewing the Panthers 2021 opponents and where they fit will finish in their division. Now, the Carolina Panthers, I think, will go one and one against the Falcons. The, the Atlanta Falcons are one of the hardest teams in the NFL to predict right now. They are offensive heavy who just hired an offensive coach. One, which, one week they w may lose to the Jets, and the next they will be blowing out the Chiefs. So... Over the last three seasons, the Falcons keep reinventing ways to lose, snatch, defeat from the jaws of victory. As uncomfortable as it might be, a portion of this blame belongs to Matt Ryan, who has done little to live up to his billing in recent years. Often in game-winning situations, the Falcons and Ryan have come up short. They may have more talent on their roster than the Panthers, but considering their track record and tendency to lose, Carolina is going to find a way to split the season series. Next, the Carolina Panthers will go, I think, 0-2 against the Bucks. So let's not kid ourselves, guys. Uh, Tom Brady is going, isn't going anywhere this season. It is going to be... Another long campaign of him proving his put pundits wrong and continuing to increase the gap between himself and whoever you believe is in second place behind him in the GOAT discussion. Offensively, the Carolina Panthers will have a chance to hang with Tampa Bay, but when it comes time to win, the Bucks check far too many boxes for them to steal a game this season. At, at virtually every position, the Bucks have the Panthers beat. The only clear advantage is Matt Rule can boast in this matchup is with running back Christian McCaffrey. Unless he is able to have a truly special game, they are going to lose both matchups to this solid Tampa Bay roster. The Pan everything the Panthers do well, the Bucks are set up well to stop. Though a, a one in three division record thus far may seem a bit harsh, it is accurate when you look at the offensive talent level Carolina will face in both teams. Their one win will be based on a far superior defense compared to the mess in Atlanta. 
Next, the Carolina Panthers will go 2-0 against the Saints. I'm projecting this team to be 500 in their division, winning out against the New Orleans Saints. They may have a very talented roster, but I believe the Carolina Panthers to have the far superior quarterback, no matter who Sean Payton decides to start. Even with a failing arm, Drew Brees was still great. Uh, the future Pro Hall of Famer demanded the respect in the locker room and carried himself as a true professional. He also orchestrated Peyton's offense perfectly and had a great connection with receiver Michael Thomas. I cannot see this team having a deal of success with Jameis Winston or a utility player as their starting quarterback. Regardless of who is under center, Sam Darnold is a better option providing he makes the most out of a new opportunity. So either quarterback starting for the Saints is likely going to give the Panthers an edge in the turnover battle. These two games are going to be tales of two very different teams, one on the rise behind a young core and another heading in the wrong direction with their stalwart signal caller moving on from football. Predicting the Saints to be at the bottom of the division they have often ruled may not be a popular one, but I believe it is the reality they will find themselves in at the end of what will be a down year for New Orleans. Carolina next, Carolina will beat the Washington football team. The Washington football team is one of the hardest teams to predict when you look at their quarterback situation at a superb defense. Alex Smith has has retired, leaving questions about whether their current options will find any stability you know, what do you think this team would give to have Kirk Cousins back on their roster about now? Uh, with Cousins, Washington would be a legitimate Super Bowl contender considering their incredible defense and a familiar coach to the Carolina Panthers fans in Ron, Ver- Ron Rivera. I believe these teams to be very close in overall talent level with Roth- rosters both having huge strong points and obvious holes with teams so evenly matched i look at three things one is who has the best quarterback two who is going to have home field advantage and three who has the player most likely to break a big play the panthers win all three of these questions and because of that i'm picking them at home to beat washington in a low scoring and a very tight affair. Beating Washington is going to be the key for the Carolina's success of this season. They are one of the few good teams the Panthers have clear advantage over and should be able to pull out a win in Charlotte. Next, the Carolina Panthers will lose at home to the Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles is, roster is almost unrecognizable from their Super Bowl run against the New England Patriots you know, not that long ago. Carson Wentz, Nick Foles have both moved on. The team is now in Jalen Hurts' hands. Um, I am much higher on this Eagles team this year under the fact that Hurts, um, he is a winner, and I think he is a hard worker, and it is obvious how well he prepare he prepares as a single co- signal caller as he was in college and this has been evident during his brief time at the next level um hertz is going to lead this eagles team to be a much better than expected um doug peterson's message had become stale and wentz's ball security was just unbearable in 2020. um this team who for the first time since they won the Super Bowl four years ago will not be facing any quarterback controversy. Now, the questions that dominated the Philly news cycle for so long for this Eagles team, um, now with those gone, Hurts is going to step up and lead this team to a big season. 
I, including beating us, the Carolina Panthers, and Charlotte. Next, the Carolina Panthers will beat the Jets. You know, as soon as he was traded and was a member of the Carolina Panthers, Sam Darnold circled this matchup. The quarterback nor his new team are going to lose to this New York Jets. The Jets need talent at virtually every position, and there is nothing better than a revenge game. Carolina is a far superior roster and will likely have the better quarterback when they square off. Uh, this is an easy win on Carolina's schedule, and if they can if they cannot pull this game out, something will have to have gone horribly wrong for this team. Based on the Darnold trade and the fact that Jets will be starting rookie quarterback Zach Wilson, this game is still very interesting despite the seemingly obvious outcome. This will be a game likely to rely heavily on Christian McCaffrey, considering the Jets lack the personnel to stop the run game. Um, this will be an easy win for Carolina. Next, Carolina Panthers will lose to the Patriots. Speaking of revenge games, Cam Newton and the New England Patriots will be visiting the Carolina Panthers this year. And after a bevy of free agency moves, they look to be a playoff team once again. Panthers fans are well aware of just how good Cam Newton can be. After a red-hot start last season um, during the COVID-19, seemed to knocked the 2015 NFL MVP off of his game, and he never seemed to return to form, struggling considerably down the stretch. But still, the Patriots obviously believe in Cam, um, enough to bring him back, surround him with the veteran, with a better supporting cast this time around. And now this team has a playoff roster, and the Patriots and the return to Carolina for Newton is going to be a lot to handle for the Panthers, I think. Next, the Carolina Panthers will beat the Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings are another team that is very hard to pin down. Um, when Dalvin Cook is healthy and running the ball well, this team is, uh, is capable of demolishing anyone. We have seen them beat what was thought to be a superior Saints team in the playoffs and against other playoff teams under Mike Zimmer. Still, there is something about this unit I do not quite buy coming into the season. This game is going to be tightly contested, but in the end, the Carolina Panthers' offense ability to find a big play might be the difference. Now, if Teddy Bridgewater were still at the helm, I would pick Vikings. But with the new quarterback, Sam Darnold, the Panthers will hit enough big plays to pull this one out. Uh, winning this game is key for the success of the Panthers season. This is one of the least interesting games on the dock for Carolina. Look for Matt Rule's men to take control early in this game and roll to another victory in Charlotte. Next, the Carolina Panthers will lose to the Dallas Cowboys. Unfortunately, the Dallas Cowboys are the off-season darlings of the NFL, always projected to win their division and find success in the postseason. So far, that has translated to nothing except disappointment and failures. But somehow, I still believe in Dak Prescott and this team's ability to find a way back to relevance this season. While I'm still hesitant to say they will win their division, they will win a lot more games, including this one against the Carolina Panthers. Perhaps no team has the position player depth the Cowboys boast. They have a top running back and three great receivers. While they are not the most talented position players top to bottom, objectively they are the deepest unit really on paper. And the, it is... For this reason, and facing a healthy Prescott on the road, the Panthers will drop this game, moving their projected record to 500. Carolina Panthers will win against the Giants. The New York Giants contest is arguably the most boring game on the Carolina Panthers schedule. The only interesting story is two young, dynamic running backs. 
Uh, Daniel Jones is a fringe quarterback, not quite a franchise guy yet. Is still considered to be too talented to be a backup or a placeholder. The problem for the firm, former first-round pick has been his turnovers leading to inconsistent play because he is pressing not to make a mistake. And it is for that reason the Panthers will beat the Giants on the road. They have the better coach, quarterback, I believe in Sam Darnold's ability of making a winning play more or so than Jones. Winning this game is key, considering it is one of the easier ones on the road of the schedule. Next, the Carolina Panthers will lose to the Bills. Josh Allen is one of the top 10 quarterbacks in the league right now. Arguably, he is in the top five when you consider his arm town and ability to move outside the pocket to make plays the buffalo bills have the better roster a superior coach at least for now and adding in the fact that the panthers are going into buffalo and this is the only game of the season i see carolina potentially getting blown out they don't have the talent level of the bills there are very few teams who will be capable of beating them on the road this season Buffalo is entering the season as the second favorite to come out of the AFC behind the Chiefs. And it seems to be the only obvious threat to what Kansas City is attempting to build. Defensively, they are nasty in the trenches and play discipline in the secondary. This is the game I expect Darnold to struggle in and try to do too much. Carolina Panthers will beat the Dolphins. I mean, many people are far too high on Miami's, Miami Dolphins this season. They are a team that is primed to take a step back, and despite being well coached, the team showed uncertainty and a lack of an ability to make a decision last season. Gunning for a playoff spot, they continually brought in journeyman Ryan Fitzpatrick to pro- re- replace young quarterback Tua. This is after benching a successful veteran to accelerate the former Alabama Stars career. Not only did they seemingly divide the locker room, they put far more stress on Tua than they had to. So coming into this season, expectations are insanely high. For a team in transition, the Dolphins didn't believe in their 2020 first round pick when it mattered most last season. And the problems this created could bleed over into 2021. So for this reason, I believe that the Carolina Panthers will be a much better team than Miami and win easily. Next, the Carolina Panthers will lose at the Cardinals. The biggest question for this game will be the health of Kyler Murray. Um, We watched the Arizona Cardinals season play out last year with two versions of the quarterback clearly evident. Before the player was banged up, he was dynamic, and the team was playoff bound. If he can stay healthy this season and the Cardinals are headed headed to the postseason, they have been ultra-aggressive this offseason at an aging star such as A.J. Green and J.J. Watt. So don't be surprised if Arizona becomes a dark horse contender in the NFC. This is a team who, unlike the unforementioned Dolphins, truly believes in their quarterback and has gone all in on both sides of the ball to win right now. Unlike the Panthers, this team has true Super Bowl potential if all the stars aligned and their injury-prone roster stays healthy for the season. Regardless, this team has far too much talent at home not to beat a scrappy Panthers team who will give Arizona all they can handle in what should be a very fun matchup. The Carolina Panthers will beat the Texans. Uh, and then my 2021 record projection is 9-8. and eight. Uh, 
the Carolina Panthers will finish with nine wins on the season and enough to earn them a second place in the division behind the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, it isn't hard to see the Houston Texans are falling into chaos while the Panthers are on their way up. So winning will only be difficult if Deshaun Watson is playing at his peak, which is a huge question mark with his whole con concerning offseason accusations. It is even possible he won't be suiting up at all. So regardless of whether he plays, Carolina is going to triumph in this game on the road and will end the 2020 campaign with a winning record, a large improvement over their 2020 finish. So if the Panthers managed to get themselves to nine victories, it should be seen as a huge success for a team that now has cap flexibility and will likely be able to add more impact players in free agency next year. They will also become more attractive destination after proving the organization is heading in the right direction. So guys, that is my 2021 record prediction for the Carolina Panthers. I know this is a long video, but when you want insight, when you want my opinion on the, this team and this record for this year, that's it. Uh, Panther Nation, I hope you liked it. So like, pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Pound that subscribe button. Comment down below. Don't forget about the 1,000 giveaway. Pick a number between 1 and 1,000. Uh, once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll pick the person who either got it right on the money or, you know, got it uh close enough uh you have to be subscribed to the channel to win if you do get it right or you win it get it close then uh, you get a panthers jersey of your choice all right panther nation pantherologists you know what to do keep pounding